So today we're going to go over lesson 63, which is solving problems with tax, tips, fees, and commission. So let's look at the do now. At a grocery store, a case, a $12 case of Dr. Pepper is on sale for 20% off. What is the sale price? So if we use the formula from yesterday, just part equals the percent as a decimal times the whole. So our percent is 20. And to make it a decimal, we move it two times to the left. So it's 0.20. The whole is how much it costs, $12. And the part is what we're looking for. So x equals 0.20 times 12. So if we multiply 0.20 times 12, we get $2.40. That's how much off it's going to be. And now we're looking for the sale price. So how much are we going to pay? So it's the whole amount minus the part amount will give us our sale price. So 12 minus 240 nine dollars and sixty cents number two at walmart a fifty dollar pair of pants is on sale for 15 percent off so again we're looking for the sale price so the percent is 15 with two times to the left because us 0.15 the whole is 50, and the part is the X, how much we're looking for off. So X equals 0.15 times the whole. So 0.15 times 50 is 7.5, or $7.50. Now we just need to subtract the original amount Minus the sale, the discount amount, will give us our sale price. So 50 minus $7.50 gives us $42.50. So that's how much you would be paying for the sale price. So now we're going to go over some vocabulary terms. So tax... is how much you pay extra on an item. So like sales tax, property tax, etc. Right? When you go to the store, you buy an item, you have to pay tax on that item. Tips or gratuity is when you go out to eat, and if your waiter does or waitress does a good job, you give them extra money. So it's uh, an amount that is added to the total for a service. Fees, or like if you join a club like a, or a gym, or your fees or how much you pay monthly. So it's, again, how much extra you pay for like a, mem a membership. And commission is like when you're a car salesman or a real estate agent, the more you sell, the more money you make. So it's kind of like a reward for selling. So an extra income amount 
for selling an item. So car salesmen, real estate agents, you know, somebody who works in an electronic store, the more they sell, the more they're making commission. Okay, so I'm just going to go over this. Didn't record very well. So new MacBook is $849.99. Sales tax is 6%. What is the final price with tax? So I make it a decimal, 0 0.06. The whole amount is $849.99, and the part is the tax, how much we're looking for. So we multiply using this equation, 0 0.06 times $849.99 gives us a tax amount of $51. Then I take how much it costs, plus my tax, to give me $900.99. So this is how much it'll cost with tax. Charlie's buying a new lacrosse stick for $325. If the sales tax is $7.25, what is the final cost with tax? So the percent, make it a decimal, is 0 0.0725. The whole is how much it costs, $325. And the part is the tax we're looking for. So again, use that formula. 0 0.0725, the percent, times how much the lacrosse stick costs, $325, and we'll get the tax of $23.56. Then I need to figure out the total amount. So it's original, $325, plus the tax, $23.56, for a total of $348.56. Emily went out to Applebee's with her family, and the total bill was $52.31. If they want to leave a tip of 15%, how much will the new total be? So 15%, make it a decimal, it's 0.15. The whole is how much the bill was, $52.31. And the part is the tip we're looking for. So X is 0.15%. Times the whole, 5231. So their tip is going to be $7.85. So we're going to add the tip plus the original amount. So 5231 plus 785 to get $60.16. So this is how much they'll be paying for their bill with tax. T. Zoe bought a bag of dog food for $37.99. If the sales tax is 7.6%, how much did she pay total with tax included? So percent is 7.6, move it two times to the left, you get 0.076%. The whole is how much the bag cost, which is $37.99, and we're looking for the tax amount, our part. So it's 0 0.076, the percent times $37.99. So the tax is going to be $2.89. So we have $37.99 plus the tax, $289. You get $40.88. Mr. Rumpler works as a furniture salesman and earns a base salary of $350 per week plus 6% commission on sales. If he sold $3,750 worth of furniture, how much did he make that week? So we need to figure out the percent is on his sales. So it's 0 0.06, and how much sales he did was $3,750. That's how we figure out the commission. So it's 0 0.06 times the sales is $3,750. So he made, in addition to his $350, an extra $225. So he makes $350 per week no matter how much he, sell, he sells. If he sells $0, he will still get $350. If he sells $20,000 worth of furniture, he'll get $350 plus his commission. So for this week, his $350 base salary plus his commission, which was $225, will give him $450. 
$575. So that's how much I'll make that week. F. Eric needs a new pair of sneakers. They are normally $129, but are on sale for 24% off. So that's what we're going to do first. The sale is 24%. Let's make that 0.24. The whole is $129. And the sale, the discount, is what we're looking for. So 0.24 times $129 gives us a sale or a discount amount of $30.96. So you subtract these two and you get the original minus the discount, $98.04. But now it says if there's a sales tax of 6.4%, so 0.064 times the new sale price, $98.04, Gives us six twenty seven. That's how much we'll pay in tax. So it's our sale price ninety eight zero four, plus the tax six twenty seven. Gives us one hundred four dollars and thirty one cents.